Hey guys, it's me Chuyutz and welcome back to another tutorial here on YouTube for NBA 2K24. Well, with this tutorial, I'm going to explain you how you can add mods on NBA 2K24. Uh, mods don't work on consoles, so this tutorial is only for PC users. Um, if it's your first time with this, I think this tutorial is going to be very useful uh, because I am going to explain every single step that you have to follow to be able to add them into the game. So the first step is to get NBA 2K24 hook by Loy. So you have to go to my website shuyuda.com and here on the top you have NBA 2K24 hook section and the same for the version for NBA 2K23. So you have to click here and here uh, you have a download button so you have to click here to get the files. Um, you're going to get a rare file like this one. Um, if you do double click on this, you're going to see many files and folders. Um, you have to go to the main installation folder of your NBA 2K24, um, Steam, Steam Apps, Common and NBA 2K24, and you have to uh, select all the files and folders, and you have to drag and drop everything into the main installation folder. Um, so I'm going to skip this because I already have the files, but you only have to copy all the files into this folder. Well, this is the first step. Uh, the second one, when you launch NBA 2K24, you are going to see a message like this one. Um, so if you want to run the game with mods, you have to press on the first option uh, with the playing icon. And that's all. So now in game, if you press F8, you can see a new menu with different options. On the top, we have plugins. Uh, so when Loy releases some new plugins, you can manage them from here because you can open the plugins folder and the scripts folder. And the second option is mod. So here you can enable the mods or disable them, as this message says. Um, this resources section is pretty cool because you can create different mods folder for example if you use different rosters and you want a mod folder for a specific roster for example this is the the mod folder by default but if you use a new I don't know a high school roster um, you can create a mod folder for this roster the same for example if you play with a richer roster you can create a new mods folder and you can enable them or disable them. So this is pretty, pretty cool because you can uh, have different mods folder at the same time. So um, here, uh, just below, um, you have file manager. Um, this is to extract files from the game. For example, if you want to create a new side phase or you you want to edit a jersey file, you can extract the textures with this file export. And so I'm going to extract a face as a sample. Uh, so you have to write the name of the file. In this case, I'm going to write five, uh, one, five, one, three, dot IFF. Remember, you need to write the name of the file. So you have to press on export. And here, if you go to the main installation folder, um, here in b 2 k 24 you're going to see this new folder, Exports, okay? So uh, here it's the file. Well, to install a mod on NBA 2K24, well, as you uh, saw, um, I uh, paste the files from the NBA 2K24 hook, and now we have a new folder here, NBA 2K hook. If you click on this folder, you're going to see more folders. And as you can see here, I have a mods folder and a high school mods folder that I created uh, just before. So here in this mods folder, you have to copy every single file. 
for side faces, for jerseys, for scoreboards, portraits, headshots, everything here. So to get mods, um, you can go to my website, shooter.com, and here on the top, you have NBA 2K24 mods. Um, you have an article on on the meaning of NBA 2K24 mods, the different uh, categories, and the tutorial that you are uh, seeing right now. And here uh, you have different categories, rosters, side faces, jerseys, cards, arenas, scoreboards. Uh, so for example, I'm going to uh, download uh, side face as a sample. Um, well, I'm going to write here on the search bar. This is a pretty useful option. NBA 2K24, um, Ron James side face. And here I have a side face for LeBron. So I'm going to click here to download the files. Um, this is the same process for jerseys and for everything. Yes, you need to, to copy the files into the mod folder. So I'm going to save the folder. Um, here I'm going to, okay. So here, um, LeBron James files. So I'm going to copy the files into the mods folder. Remember, you have the mods folder into NBA 2K24, NBA 2K hook and mods folder. And now, if I go to uh, create roster, NBA, the official one, and I'm going to Likers, I did player, and as you can see, now I have a modded version, a modded side face of LeBron on NBA 2K24. So as you can see, the process is pretty simple. Um, I hope this tutorial works for you guys. And you have everything at my website, www.choyota.com. Anyway, if you have any problem or any doubt, you can write me in comment section and I will try to answer your, your question as soon as possible. So thanks for watching my videos as always and see you in the next one. Bye.